Oh, is my cat attacking John Travolta? Hell yeah. I got a master rock climbing, so I need a rock climbing wall. Oh, it's good to see that uh, Super Mario came by to talk on my lawn. This is why I can't have nice things, because you destroy them. Cut it out, you crazy man. Ladies, ladies, gentlemen, it's noisy face. That's me, and it's episode five of Generation Five Garden Legacy Challenge Magnolia. We just moved to Mount Kamarabi. We're in our new house. And before I put your girl into the acting career, we're going to take a little time to get settled. We're going to start working on our skiing, our snowboarding, all that is. Uh, maybe uh, see what we got to do to uh, purvey some potions and all that jazz. I've reached a legitimate problem with uh, balancing content here, and it's that I uh, started this new uh, generation here. I mean, you know, new gen, old gen, but new things. And it makes me really want to play The Sims. That's why I like generational challenges, is that, you know, after a while, what you're doing um, gets stagnant. We don't, we don't want to chat with our crush. As a matter of fact, can we get over our crush? How do we do that? But anywho, as I was saying, um, I do like the, the challenges like this because once you start to feel stagnant and um, weird about things, then you can move on. You can start anew almost and uh, it keeps me interested. Polka's mind is clear. No longer will she be plagued with thoughts of Velma. Hell yeah. I like Jackson now. Eat that. Um, I was also thinking we take the cats, all the cats to go get fixed. Because we have a lot of money. And um, they annoy me when they meow all the time. So let's take all three of them to the vet's office. That'll be cool. Who's vetting nowadays? Is it John Travolta? That's what I want to know. <laughs> hey, it is. He's still there. He's super old. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Oh my god. Thank you, Jackson. Wait, are you still a teen? Because if so, that might be bad. If so, I might have to age you up. You are. I need to age you up so our relationship is not weird. She's stressing out because she's a loner. So if I send her to go fish, will that cancel my uh, waiting for vet there? I hope not. We're gonna we're gonna find out because we're waiting for the vet. What are my cats doing? This one's up here inspecting the refrigerator. This one's down here just chilling with John Travolta. Glenda's under the couch, so that's cool. Oh yeah, see, John Travolta's gonna get it done while I'm out fishing. He's gonna take Claire, care of Glenda up here. Yup, just take that out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna fish. I'm gonna fish to my heart's desires. Apparently, I have to do these procedures one at a time. I can't just spam them. Where are you going, Kiki? Uh, you gotta get spayed today, so please, please don't go anywhere. Please come over to me while I'm in here just doing that. <laughs> Just doing magic in front of everybody because I got to get all of you spayed while I'm here today. So I'll just, you know, use this time to be a loner and do magic in the middle of the vet's office. All right, my cats are done. So now I can take them home in their little cones. And I can invite Jackson over. I need to age Jackson up. I don't know how far I want to pursue this romance. But if I want to pursue it at all, he needs to not be a teen. So yeah, why don't you come over, see my new house. You'll just happen to age up while you're there. It'll be super entertaining. All right, girl, call Jackson. See uh, see what he's up to. I love that these smoke. That's just so, it's so adorable. Yeah, come on, come on over. Um, Experiment in here. Maybe don't die, though. Um, oh, hold on. Jackson's here. Never mind. Don't do that. We gotta age him up. Hold on. That's easy enough, though. 
Okay, I aged him up using MC Command Center. I'll have her stop experimenting there. I'll have her go ahead and uh, give him a residence key. Maybe don't just stand there. <laughs> Hello, hey, how do you like my makeover? You haven't seen me since I cut my hair. Here's a key, come by anytime that you want. Okay, so Jackson does not have the best of traits because he is Lord Farquaad's son. So, he wants to be a mansion baron. He is self-assured, he's a perfectionist, and he's a snob. I mean, just go with it. I had to rearrange the house a little bit because I couldn't, I couldn't cook. I could not cook in this kitchen. So, I put everything kind of to both sides, which means I didn't have much room for a table. So, we got a table jammed. Jammed in the corner over here, which hopefully will still work. Come on, Jackson. I don't know why you left. Um, I think you have a key. You should come in. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come in and cook with me? Are you sad? Because I'm getting, seeing that someone poke a chair she's is suffering makes her sad. Are you sad, Jackson? Uh, tell me about it. I mean, I'd like you to hang out here with me and my cats. Yeah, see, you love the Kitans. They're so cute. Maybe not Finn Rizal, though. She's, uh, she's a little feisty, micey. So, uh, maybe, yeah, she's crabby. Nothing says solidify our love like making breadsticks. I don't know that they're going to stay together, but, you know, one never knows. You just get to stand there, girl? Okay. Because, like, cool. Oh, he's flirting with me. Damn, Jackson. Damn. So you didn't get this in the summary of the episode because there was no sound. But the, the reason we're dating Jackson, the reason we started dating Jackson is because he asked us. We had the option to ask him, but he decided to ask us. So we accepted. We're dating. That's a thing. Oh yeah, I did say we learned his uh, mess around interests. He's unemployed, that's okay. We just graduated, I'm not employed either. I think what I'm gonna do is write on her money that she took from her family for a little bit, but then when she gets a job, I'll go ahead and cheat it down so it's a little bit of a struggle. Um, but he like, he's bi, he likes women and men. I mean, we don't judge here on the Noisy Face channel. Look, we're closer from happy memories and cooking together, even though all you did was stand around. So we're not going to eat at this table I put in. Good good to see that's going for us. We're just going to stand in my living room and eat. So, you know, that's that's great. It looks like Jackson's going home. Um, he's got shit to do. Absolutely not. I just bought this. Absolutely not. If I have to replace this, look... I'm sorry. Um, why can't I get it? Electronics don't work in the rain. Okay, well, if it broke because it's raining, I I will replace this. Um, maybe it'll come back on when it's not raining. We'll see. Okay, look, bro. I know you're feeling like super down, but why don't we come in here? Let's have a pillow fight. Who doesn't love pillow fights? Who bond in my new house? I'd like to say my parents would never let me pillow fight, but it, let's be honest, it was Dylan and Icarus, and they totally would have supported, they probably would have had, like, a pillow fight match board of, like, who's the best pillow fighter in the house. All right, it's been fun. I'll, uh, see you later. Have a, have a good night. I'm gonna go bed and some junk. Good morning, Finn Rizal. Uh, uh, do you like tropical islands? I've never been to a tropical island. Uh, how about police cars? Do you like them? I happen to think that their sirens are annoying. I realize that I don't have a job right now, but I'm going to get one. You can't come with me when I go to work. Oh, I love you too, baby. Wait, it says I can repair the, the rock wall? I think you think I have a set of skills that I don't. I have a very particular set of skills. Um, but you know, you never know. Maybe I'll come out here, I'll fix this so I can use it once I eat some more dumplings. 
because Lord knows I need some dumplings. I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna climb, do my gentle incline. I'm gonna harvest all these snapdragons. And then I'm gonna throw this trash away. Go girl! Get do yeah! Rock climbing skill! Hell yeah, we need that. We need that for our future. Oh my god, are you serious? I found a ring in Ferris's bag. I think he's gonna propose to me. I don't know what to do. Should I say yes? No? Gah! Oh my god. You should say yes. I'm not gonna leave this family to orchestrate a marriage. My camera's out of focus. But say yes, girl! You're right, of course. I should say yes. What was I thinking? Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. You should totally marry Ferris. Girls gotta do chores. Um, so I had her put her, her laundry in and clean the cat box. So she's doing some laundry. Then it's eight o'clock. So we're going to eat some food as soon as we, uh, you know, love on all our cats, of course, because, because that is a requirement for me. Singing level three from singing in the shower. Okay, so Punk is inviting me to the festival. Um, sure, let's go. Let's bring some friends along. Can I bring Cameron? Because I was wanting to talk to him. Let's find out. I want to bring Jackson. Um, I can't bring Cameron unless I do this, right? Let's see. All right, we made it a geek con. I want to talk to Cameron. So why don't I go tell him about my new fear of death? Hey, Cameron. Over there, how's it going? I have a fear of death now. I just thought you'd like to know. It's because my uh, grandfather, <laughs> whatever grandfather that was, uh, he almost died from using magic. So, you know, I got that going for me. Hang out with my friends, talk about geek con things. Well, Cameron lovingly plays the violin. Catherine Sparrow is here. Cashing in on the GeekCon market, selling GeekCon t-shirts. I do need one of those. That is the whole reason I'm here. I told her to go do it, and she went in the karaoke bar and sat down. So I don't, I don't necessarily understand what's happening, but you know, it's fine. Hey, I need to buy a GeekCon t-shirt. Not that way, I don't. I need a festival t-shirt. Can I have... I need one. I kind of want the rocket ship. Do I get to choose? Cause I, cause I kind of want it. Why don't you, uh, why don't you do the hackathon? That'll be fun. Just come in here and hack next to Roxy Wolf. Well, you know, something says that there's a hacking contest going on and you're putting viruses and things. That Roxy Wolf is gonna win. I'm just saying. Is uh, Cameron over here talking to Cove Holden? You two would be best friends. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm hacking now. If Angelina Jolie could see me. What's her name in the movie Hackers? I don't know. Olka completed the hackathon with a score of 17%. We'll announce the winner at the end of the festival. All winners must be present to receive their prize as well. I don't, I don't think I'm going to win because I only got 17%, so, you know. I'm apparently embarrassed by whatever conversation I'm having with Jackson. So, you know what would make us more embarrassed? Just to sing this pop karaoke. What kind of music video is this? What is even, is this like the opening to a TV show we're singing? Hey, hey remember that TV show that used to be on? When we went to high school? Let's sing the opening of that. <laughs> Alright, Jackson's gonna go home and go to bed, so I guess I'm gonna go home too. Um, I will see you later. I don't know why I don't pull my bike out, because it's in my inventory. But oh well. Get my steps in, I guess. Alright, girl, get your experiments on while your laundry is drying. Because you need to, uh... <laughs> Oh, Finn Rizal, you're adorable back there. Don't think I don't see you being adorable in the background, because you totally are. Ooh, Polka is now a spellcaster. <laughs> I didn't read it. I couldn't read it. It went by too fast. Um, We want to go all into um 
I'm a neo neophyte. We want to go all into potions here, so we get a we're gonna get a blender's arm. Gotta start our little flower garden out here because we're keeping that a tradition where we have a plant for every generation. So we gotta plant all of our flowers out here. Get to planting! Oh, I can use my magic to fix this. Magic, 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 fix magic, magic, magic. Do it, girl. Shoot. Fix it. Did you fix it? Hell yeah, you did. And we gotta get some singing in because we're inspired. Singing is great. Yes, you absolutely love singing because you gotta get that to level 10 too. So well, have you sing a bit, then you gotta put your laundry away. And then I'd call that a full motherfucking day. Clean that lint tray, girl. Don't you forget that, because we'll burn the motherfucking house down. Look at my cat. Just passed out on the floor in front of the bookshelf. I mean, fair. Fair. It's Wednesday. Do you think that, uh, Jackson maybe wants to, uh, go to Mount Comoravi with us today? Maybe he does. Maybe not at, like, 7 a.m. But maybe he does. One never knows. All right, we'll practice piano for a bit. Um, I didn't even realize that was something that I wanted to do. Maybe we'll bring my sisters and Jackson and we'll go skiing today. I mean, that sounds fun. How's everybody been? Nice to see you here. Uh, Malcolm Raby, just go, go in there with my sister. We're all gonna ride to the top, top of this mountain. I just now decide to pull out my bike, so that's great. Let's go skiing, let's go skiing. It'll be great, come on, it'll, it'll be super amounts of fun. You never know that you want to stand in line and go skiing, uh, with Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Well, I think Daphne, like, they were married when she was a teenager in high school, and then I divorced them. And then she decided to, like, marry him anyway, um, because she's stubborn like that. Look at me go! I got janky rental skis. I'm so fabulous. I'm actually not that bad. I haven't fallen on my face yet. So, you know, you know, I got that going for me. There'll be much of this in my future. I hope. You like skiing, Jackson, because that's what we're going to do. With our oh, no! I fell. I fell and I ran into this guy. So I might as well say hi. You're, uh, you're something. Oh, no! Oh, no, Catherine Sparrow. I'm sorry to see that you fell as well. Hello. I'm super clumsy. I'm sorry I ran into you. It's also super cold outside. Who would have guessed? Because there's know. lots of snow. Oh, you should boy. maybe not Don't stand on the ski slope. Uh, you know, since my sister Pop almost ran you over. Nice to Don't see her tomorrow. skis just Don't slotted underneath your feet. And didn't knock you over at all. But you know, it's, it's a great sunny day. Um, that's my sister Punk. She likes to smash cans. And, you know, whatever, whatever it is she does. Wait, what? I got a sentiment with him? You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. Okay, so we're like becoming good good friends out here. Well, you're all... Oh, no, he's bored. He's bored. I'm bored. Never mind. Bye. Oh, you're a sorcerer. Okay, cool. All right, well, the one way to cure the boredom is to go on the slope. Uh, go with medium intensity now. Um, I guess, I guess I'm riding to the top then. Is that what I'm doing? I suppose I am. Oh yeah, here I go. I gotta get my snowboarding on. I'm um, glad to see you joining me, sis. Alright, girl, I just want you to snowboard. Can you go snowboarding? Did you go to the back of the line? Absolutely not. Alright, since the line wasn't moving and Jackson wanted to go in the hot springs, let's, let's go in the hot springs. It'll be fine. All right, getting in the hot springs, hanging out. I was getting super tense, you know, because I'm a loner. I don't like anybody. Uh, good to see that uh, Spike Spiegel is here. So, you know, we got that. I'm embarrassed. What am I embarrassed about? From what? What am I embarrassed about? Seen unclean. Apparently, it's customary to cleanse oneself before getting into the hot springs in public. 
Certainly must have missed that memo. Oh no! Dora right, well on that note, I guess let's all just go, just go back to my house. Since I decided not to get in the hot springs, I have never ever gotten that message before. I will have you know, I've gotten in the hot springs many a time unclean. I am forever unclean, okay? Forever unclean! Let's go inside, let's make a tasty fruit salad. It'll be fabulous. Would anyone like to cook with me? Because I'm pretty sure I'm chopping up one of my cats over here. Hello, Grandma. I think Anna of Ar Arendelle is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? I mean, honestly, Grandma. Sure. Go for it. Go for it. Why don't you live your best Grandma Daisy life? Okay, so now that we've had our fruit salad, we bonded a little, I'm going to go ahead and send my sisters home. I'm going to sing a happy tune in the shower, and then I'm going to go to sleep. And yet again, I'm just going to have her work on her skills today. She might have like a small little house party later when she's gotten all acclimated. And then tomorrow, we'll go ahead and take her money down maybe to just the 3500 uh, uh, whatever that is <laughs> I was trying to say. So that she doesn't have as much and it is a little bit of a struggle and um then we'll go ahead and get our job on friday we'll pin being alone because we can probably complete that today we're getting this scared because we don't like thunderstorms get your magic in girl maybe you'll start learning potions once you i think you gotta go do you gotta go to the magic realm i don't know how you learn potions Okay, it is noon, so we're going to go ahead and have a party. We can have a house party. That sounds like fun. Um, well, I'm obviously hosting this. We're going to invite um, pretty much everybody that we know that we're good friends with. So that'll be entertaining this dude that we just met. And Cameron. We're not good friends with Cameron, but it's fine. We'll put some hip hop on. Uh, we want to eat food. We want to tell jokes. Let's put some food out then. Oh, everybody's coming in. Hey, that's awesome. All right, how's how's it going, Cameron? I need to tell you a joke. I put on my cute little black party dress and my witch hat because you know I'm I'm all witchy up in here. I'm glad to see my my cat Kiki just sat in my fruit salad. How's it going, Cove? How's how's high school? And and all that is. Are all my friends still teens? I should probably age them up. Oh my god, is my cat having an all-out brawl with the other cat in here? What are you doing, Finn Rizel? You can't just beat up Glenda. Just talking to mom, saying hello to everybody, seeing how everybody's doing. We need to uh we need to have a dance party up in here, okay? The, it says that we need to have Sims dance. So we need to have, I just vaporized, vaporized through this hallway to hug Ferris. So I need to age Ferris up. Um, more choices. All right, we're dancing. We're breaking it down in the living room. Come on, me and my family lambs. Hey, that ski dude is here. Dancing is in my bones. Should Polka like dancing? Yes. Yes, she should. Oh my god. So there's apparently developments going down in the living room. Apparently, Polka is flirting with Cove Holden. And he doesn't... He doesn't entirely hate it. Look. Is he or is he not over my sister? I, I feel like we need to investigate this further. Why don't we go ahead and end the party? We'll get all of our sentiments. Everybody's super happy about it. Ferris wants to ride motorbikes. Icarus wants to give us some money. And we're like, no, as a matter of fact, Dad, you gave us way too much money, okay? It's too much. Gold medal earned. Oh my God, Dad. Did you just start my house on fire? I know you did not. I know you did not just start my house on fire. I will beat you up. There's uneaten cake. Where's the fire? I see no fire. Where is the fire? Oh my god, it's my baby! 
Oh no! <laughs> it's my thing! <laughs> okay, well, you know, that happened. That happened. Guess I'll just uh, go harvest my plants. Since I'm uh, lighting fires, that is one way to get all your guests to leave a uh, house party, is to um, is to light some fires. Yes, Daisy. Remember when we talked about Anna of Arendelle? We went on a very nice date. Yay! I'm happy for you. All right. Now that we've had our traumatic fire event, let me go ahead and uh, you know I'll feed my cats. I'll clean up these unbaked cakes in my laundry room and then I'll give Cove a call and say hey what's what was your deal at the party because like I've, I'm sort of dating Jackson that's you know that's kind of what I'm doing maybe she's just dating around maybe it's like he's my boyfriend but like not I don't know I mean they are technically boyfriend and girlfriend don't judge me look she's super happy though she's got a Great. She was happy from hosting. Um, she's a smooth talker. She's confident about putting out the fire. Um, she's hooked up her mom. But this says she's like, friends are nice, I guess. She's surrounded by people she knows. But honestly, it feels a little crowded. Is this what she wants? But uh, look, I got to talk to you about something. So I was looking at the mirror, uh, having some self-reflection. And I noticed that you were kind of flirting with me at the party. I'm Amos super uncomfortable trip, about this conversation because I know my sister likes you, but uh, tell me, tell me about that. What's what's going on? Do you like me? Maybe. I'm super muscular. Okay, look, the flirting is not going terribly. Like his attraction isn't going up super fast, but he's also unflirty. So like. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna send him home. I think his answer to to the flirts is that he's indifferent, which is very very on brand for you, Cove. I gotta get going. I gotta sort some mail. Bye. You sort your mail, bro. I'm gonna go to sleep. Maybe I will ask you on a date tomorrow and just just see what you do. I do have to get a job tomorrow and adjust my money. That is a thing. Look, I feel like if we're just flirting willy-nilly with people, too, we gotta flirt with this dude. Because, like, look, we met him at the slopes. Um, we're neither friends nor acquaintance. I mean, look at this dude's fashion sense. Come on, he's impressed by us. Let's see if I can't tip this today before I ask out Cove Holden on a date. <laughs> He's gonna say no, I bet you, because our romance is only like this big. Oh my god, okay. So, Cole, where does one go on a date with Cove Holden? Because I feel like that is an obvious question. Why is that even a question? We go to the beach. To the beach. Alright, come, come and build sand sculptures with me. I also got the option to first kiss already with you so you know that's great i'm just gonna stand. i'm not gonna help you i'm just gonna stand here and watch and watch you build the sand sculpture because you know noisy face didn't want a photo op or anything with us building sand sculptures together oh there they go look at them they're so cute building their little sand sculpture okay look if it's gonna give me first kiss option i'm gonna do it I'm gonna, I'm gonna first kiss you. If it's gonna let me do it, I'm gonna do it. Because why not? Because why not? All right, so, you know, now, now that we've had our first kiss here on the beach, why don't we just uh, run down, run down to where, um, who got married here? Was it Jack? Jack and Daisy got married. Daisy, no, that's his daughter. Whoops. Jack and Dory got married, and, you know, we'll sit with our feet in this chair and be awkward. So, I mean, you know, at least yeah, one of my I sims know. had to live out the plot of our life, and where I thought it was going to be oh, Pop, sheesh. who is also on Flirty, apparently, apparently, it is Polka. But, like, I just want her options to be open for marriage, okay? I don't necessarily want her to marry Jackson. 
And she's not necessarily going to marry Ko. She might marry that weird dude that she met while she was skiing. Oh my god, this dude is here and he wants to be my best friend. Like, sure. We can be besties. That might solve my conundrum of, like, who to flirt with and who to not. I mean, I am kind of on a date. So you're kind of like a third wheel right now. But like, do you want to go on a date later? Like, do you want to go on a date? Tell me about it. Look, maybe I just get, maybe I just get a bunch of boyfriends. I kind of want to. I kind of want to because I never have in The Sims. Thank you for giving that right back to me. I just gave it to you. But it's fine. Like, do you want to be my boyfriend? I kind of already have one. I have a million boyfriends. And we'll take our, you know, official oh, selfie here. Hello. Let's let's take a ridiculous selfie. <laughs> you look like a 30-year-old man. That one's weird. Don't do that. <laughs> That's cute, but I can't. I can't. Oh, your hair is in the way. Okay, hold on. Hold on. There we go. That's fine. We'll do that one. That's great. Okay, I'm going to end this date early. It's fine. It's fine. Then, I'm going to... Should I ask this dude out on a date? I mean, why not? I mean, why not? It, it'll be fun. Was Cove going to get mad because I'm literally right next to him? We'll see. Okay, let's just flirt with him. Let's just flirt with him and see what happens. I never play like this. Oh my god. What am I doing? Look, she's young. She's flirty. She just wants to, you know, see what happens when she flirts with a bunch of dudes. Oh my god. Polka! You're so alluring, Polka! Oh my god, she can first kiss this guy too. Do it, girl. Do it. Maybe she's like, okay. I just, I want to keep my options open. I want to have a lot of boyfriends, and then I want to get married. Later in life, I'll narrow it down. I'll decide who I'm dating seriously, and then totally ask him on a date. Ask him on a date. Do it. Will he also say yes? I should have asked them all on a date. Can I only pick one? Oh, okay. Yeah, go on a date with me. We gotta take Jackson's key back then. If we're asking all these boys out, none of them should have a key. Hey, you're literally standing right here, but I'm going to call you on the phone to ask if you want to go on a date with me. Uh, hopefully you don't say no. All right, cool. Grandma's calling. Being like, hey, about that date. Oh, this is so awkward. This is so awkward. Oh, I'm smit. I am smitten with Cove. Apparently. Apparently I'm smitten with Cope. But anyway, like so Oh no, Jackson! Oh no. Hey, while you're here though, can I uh can I get my key back? No, no reason. Like don't be mad about it. Don't get mad, just give me my key back. It's fine. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now now go swimming or whatever it is you were gonna go do. I'm just gonna sit by this guy on a couch in the ocean. You don't, you don't, yeah, go that way. You don't need to worry about, you don't need to worry about what's going on. This guy is apparently a recycled disciple. He looks like a recycled disciple. Oh my god, we literally got the option to ask him to be our boyfriend. <laughs> Get another boyfriend, girl. You're three for three. Technically, Jackson asked you, but it's fine. It's fine. Yes. Okay, now take a picture. Yup. Selfies. Oh, thanks for photobombing my picture, weird girl. This <laughs> dude. Oh, oh yeah. This is a great, this is a great photo of us. Look at us. We are young. We're flirting. We're doing whatever it is we do. Okay, my needs are getting kind of shot, and uh, I've, I've gotten some boyfriends today. That is a thing. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. Go home, girl. You've gotten enough boyfriends for today, okay? 
And with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and get a job. We're going to try to keep our friendship up and keep our relationships up and see how that goes. We got three boyfriends now. It's great. <laughs> we're awesome. Uh, we're going to be the perfect little actress that we know we can be. I have another boyfriend? No, I don't. But I hope you're enjoying this so far. I'm enjoying the drama I spontaneously create. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, let me know which boyfriend you're rooting for, and I will see you in the next one.